Good evening, YouTubers. I'm going to step on a few toes in this video. Like that's uh, nothing new for me. You know those podcasters, those survival podcasters that want you to think that their, their poo doesn't stink, that they are helping you and it's their way is the best way. They know everything there is to know about everything. You know, the Yankee Preppers, the Survival Podcasters, the Road Warrior, all those wonderful survivalists that tell you how to do food storage and prepare for the uh, uh, shit hitting the fan and all like that when they're big with these letters. Let me tell you something. There's a, there's a group of people out there that have been doing this for years. I put their link in my side box, whichever side it's on, but look over there in the more info section. I'm going to put a link to their site. Now, you won't see any of them other podcasters doing this or video casters or whatever because you know what? They want that their whole thing is to get so many subscribers that think that they're God's gift to the world that, you know, that they're, they're the only ones on YouTube that know anything about what they're talking about. Now, the Mormon church, it is their religion to be prepared. It's been that way for before two, year 2000, back way back. They honestly believe, and it's in their religion, that being prepared uh, for emergencies actually relieves your stress. It makes it easier, your life easier. And I, I see how it does. And I'm not a Mormon. I'm not part of the Church of Latter-day Saints. But you know what? They are some of the more Christian people that actually put this stuff into practice. Uh, and think about it. If you have you and your family have a year's supply of food stored away. Or even a, just a year's supply of rice and beans, the extender food. You know, the stuff that you can add what's in your cupboards to make it go further. Let's say uh, you have 100 pounds of rice per member of your family. You know, you have a 55-gallon drum full of water per family member. And you just got it stored away. And when you watch the news and everything and people talk about disasters and crashes and all like that, doesn't it make you feel just a little less tense and a little less anxious because you know that if the poo hits the fan, you won't be, to you won't be dying. You won't be that after Armageddon uh, show that was on History Channel. You won't be that family, uh, you know, starving and and pulling their hairs out because you've already made these preparations. You you have prepared for the big earthquake. You've prepared. It depends on where you live at, what you mostly prepare for, but go to the Mormon church. It's called uh, Provident Living. That's what they're saying. Provident li Let me get this right. I don't speak real good English. I speak hillbilly. Providentliving.org. I got the link over there in the side box somewhere on the page. I tell you what, those other survival podcasters, they do a good job, but they're not the be-all and end-all. These people at the Mormon church have been doing this for a long time. I've also put links over there so you can find, uh, there's a link to, to find a, a, a cannery. These people, they don't care if you're a member of their church. They will open their cannery to you, anybody. If you got one close enough within driving distance, and they'll sell you the 25-pound bags of dehydrated apples at their cost. You know, it would be nice of you to drop a little something in the uh, offering basket because, you know, they're providing a service for us. But these people will open their cannery to you. They will let you have the supplies at cost, show you how to run the, the canner, oxygen absorbers and everything. 
They'll be glad to instruct you how to use it. And you can go in there and buy a 25-pound bag of dehydrated, dehydrated apples or carrots or beans and buy the number 10 cans and they'll give you the can, show you how to put the absorber in there and seal it yourself. You can sit there right in, in the place and seal it yourself and do as much as you want. Or you can get the Mylar bags and bring it home with you and, and seal what you want, uh, seal your stuff at home. So these people are going to give you these supplies at their cost. I mean, and they get it by the truckload, so you don't have to worry about the shipping. And, you know, it's all factored in already. Like I said, I've put links on there to the to the price list on the long. This is long-term storage stuff. It's not, it's not Sam's Wholesale where you're going to get cans of chili weenies and all that other stuff. Long-term storage, this is uh, shelf life stuff that's like 30 years, 20 year shelf life stuff that you can be like a fire extinguisher. You can get a bunch of it, store it in the back of the closet, and pretty much forget about it. You know, break open in case of war, and it won't break your bank. It's very easy to do. Um, won't cut. I mean, when you see the prices, you'll, you'll agree it, so... All those uh, other survival podcasts, I wouldn't call them podcasts, YouTubers uh, that think they're, 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 the, they're all that. Hey, these people put us all to shame because they've been doing it. It's their religion to be prepared. And uh, it's, not, it's not a bad thing. I mean, you should read some of their, their reasons for being prepared. It's just peace of mind for everybody. I mean, it doesn't have to be 2012. It doesn't have to be... Uh, end times. I mean, it doesn't have to be economic crash, dollar crash, hyperinflation. It's peace of mind. And there's no reason for anybody not to have it. 